Okay, so we've got our audio tracks here. Uh, you can see that there are three different versions that I just recorded that you saw. And um, sometimes I'll take different parts of the different takes and I'll put them together in one take. And so I like this last one though the best. So what I'm going to do is just pretty much highlight the part that I want and keep that. And if I look down here, you cannot see this, but down here it shows me that this is just about 31 and a half seconds in duration. And if I look through this waveform through here, I can see that there are little spaces in between that I can take it out. Like I said, this thing is supposed to be about 30 seconds in, in duration. So uh, let's clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to trim it. So we're down to just to, uh, just under 31 seconds now. So that was a cozy half a second. Um, the other thing that you have to do when you do stuff like this is you want to balance time versus making sure that the wave, the recording sounds natural and not rushed. And that's a bit of a trick. Uh, so let's take a look at what we've got here. Does having Oreo in the name mean that Oreo cakesters can be dunked in milk and eaten like an Oreo cookie? Some say yes, others say no. We have an Oreo cakesters debate. Keep listening for your chance to win a family four-pack of theater and Disney on Ice tickets and vote on whether you dunk or don't dunk your Oreo cakesters in milk. Oreo cakesters are the Oreo of snack cakes. Oreo chocolate, soft Oreo cream, so rich, so moist, your whole family will love them. Keep listening for your chance to win from Oreo at Mix 1. All right, so we're in pretty good shape here. We can crank this down to just, you know, if it's a little over 30 seconds, it's not the end of the world. But I really like to stick to 30 seconds. The rationale behind that is that we're selling time. And if we have 31 seconds and they run the spot 30 times, well, they just got another 30 out of it. So that's money. And time is money, no more in radio than anywhere else. So, uh, or more in radio than anywhere else, and television. So what we can do is um, clean this up a little bit and still keep it sounding natural. So what I'm going to do is n zoom in a little bit, take out this little snippet of dead air here, and then we cruise along, and then I, you know, you start to learn where your breaths are and what those look like. And if you can take out the breaths, that's cool. Little inside tip here. Take out the middle of a breath. Don't take out the whole thing. You still leave some of it in. Oh, we have an Oreo cakester. It leaves a natural pause in there. Sometimes subconsciously, if there's no breath in there, a listener will start to uh, feel it. It creates tension when there's no breathing. And a, a listener will actually start feeling short of breath uh, when there, don't, there isn't a natural pause in the flow of the conversation. On ice tickets and vote on. And there are points where I do take a breath where it will sound natural for me to take it out and still flow. Disney on ice tickets and vote on whether you dunk or don't dunk your Oreo cakesters in milk. And then we can take out that. We still have a little space here. Cakesters in milk. Oreo cakesters are the Oreo of snack cakes. Oreo chocolate, soft or. And they're just going to clean this all up. Just rip right through it. Family will love them. Keep listening. Oh, keep a little bit of the breath there. Love them. Keep listening for your chance to win from Oreo at Mix 1041. All right. How are we? Yeah, we're just under 30 seconds now. All right, so let's zip up this sound. Give myself a little more. Does having Oreo in the name mean that Oreo cakesters can be dunked in milk? And, and then... I've got my music bed already picked out. This is the old version. We're going to discard that because that was um, not approved. It was revised copy. We don't want to confuse ourselves, so let's get in into it. Another thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to label this JMVO30 Rev. Rev for revised. And then if there are subsequent revisions, I'll put a Rev 1, Rev 2, Rev 3, etc. Let's take a look at how this matches up. We've got our music bed down here. 
you can see I can adjust the levels here and uh, go from there. All right, so that's the end of this one. And now I'm going to show you how to put the music. This probably looks terrible. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to mix the music and the voiceover together.